Hello guys, today we are going to fix 100% disk usage. We will be doing three simple steps and we will be able to fix this problem. Make sure you watch the whole video and let's get started. So the very first step, we just need to press window and R key together and then type services.msc. You can also do a right click on the start icon and then click on run you will get the same window. So once you have typed services.msc just click on OK and a new window will appear and I'll just maximize it. So select any of the application to fix 100% disk usage. This is a very powerful step. Just press S and just scroll it down and look for sysmain. So this sysmain is actually used to be super fetch earlier. So what exactly it does, it fetches the application which you use the most. So when you turn on the computer, the Windows 10 decides, okay, so this guy use Chrome or Mozilla Firefox or any other application very much. Let it, let make it available for him faster. So by disabling this, it will not make any changes and it will fix the 100% disk usage. So how we can do that? Just do a right click, go to properties and here select disabled, apply and OK. So this is already disabled in my computer. So once you have disabled, click on stop. Now we will move to the next step. For that, just do a right click on the start icon and click on task manager. Now in the task manager, we need to go to startup. So it has opened. I'll click on this startup. I'll just maximize it. And in the startup, please make sure that you disable all unnecessary applications. Whichever the application you think that you do not need at the startup, disable it. Because when you turn on the computer, it gets very loaded because when you restart the computer all these application tries to open and make the computer slower and the CPU usage the disk usage gets very high so fix that 100% disk usage problem this is also a very important step and the third step which we are going is to update the windows and for that we just need to type in the search bar update and then click on check for updates so once I'll click on check for updates make sure you install all the important updates this procedure might take time but make sure it is done and once the Windows update is done just restart the computer now why I asked you to update the Windows is because there are many Microsoft patches takes a lot of CPU usage and disk usage. So updating the Windows 10 to the latest version fixes the issue. Let me know in the comment section if you still have any issues. I'll try my best to fix that problem. I'll see you in the next useful video. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.